hoping that we're able to get these cases dismissed because the people that I spoke with, like they're completely innocent. They have not committed any sort of crime. They were just out protesting against the injustices that we've been facing. really passionate about ensuring that people have second chances as well as ensuring that people are not incarcerated when they shouldn't be there. I just shared it with my fellow family members and friends and colleagues, not necessarily expecting that I was going to obtain more than 4,000 shares and almost 1,000 likes. We received over 160 calls since Saturday. About 30 of those calls are in have been in regards to arrested protesters. <laughs> because I am a black woman who really had to work extremely hard to be where I'm at today. And I come from like a lower socioeconomic community. As I mentioned, my parents were incarcerated throughout my childhood. It is very personal to me. I just wanna do my part to give back to my community. I want to do my part to help people who are unable to pay for an attorney after they were wrongfully arrested. So that's why it's important to me to help these protesters on a pro bono basis. I am supporting this movement. I'm saying that I'm speaking out against the injustices that continue to occur. I'm here saying that I support Black lives and that Black lives matter. The truth is some attorneys, some people in positions where they can help, they are silent because they don't want the pushback. Some people don't want to speak out because that could negatively impact their businesses. They could lose money by speaking out or by, as some people may say, picking a side. But I don't consider myself to be picking a side. I'm just doing what's right and I'm supporting people who have been wrongfully arrested. So I don't care about that. I don't care if people don't want to support my business because I'm taking a stand and I'm saying that I'm fed up with police not being held accountable. I don't care if people think like, oh, this person is just focused on black issues. And that's not the case. I'm here to support everyone. the fight in a peaceful way. Not only that, but I want to ask the police officers to not wrongfully arrest individuals. I want to encourage police officers to get involved in our local communities. Don't just come to our communities to police us. Come to our communities to interact with us, to get to know us. That's definitely important. I want to encourage attorneys to keep up the good fight. There's so much work that needs to be done.